in areas like this, we always overlook. That's why I call it the gut. We overlook because, mm -hmm. first of all, we don't have the numbers of the major cities. Mm -hmm. But I truly believe that everybody should count. You know, my kids should count. Yeah. My grandkids should count. Our area and, and, and our world has been driven to technology, but yet this small area is very, very, very far behind. I am one of those people that is like, die hard. I want to come back home. I want to help our town. I want to do what I can. A lot of people in the community say, there's nothing here. As soon as my kids graduate, I want them to get out, like that kind of stuff. But if we don't graduate and then come back to help make our community better, like, it's not going to get better. I believe that people choose to live here, either because that's where they uh, naturally were born, but also that there are opportunities. You get a variety and a combination of people. A lot of people see that, and so they are taking that opportunity to be here, to get to know the people. Two, three. I'm Willie Walker, and I am in Petersburg, Virginia, owner-director of Bodies and Beyond Gym and Fitness Center. The difference is that, you know, we are more personable. It's never a stranger that comes through the door. Part of presenting a professional business is having the internet to give us the support that we need. And not just any internet. It needs to have the upload and download speed to give us consistency. My name is uh, Rustin Jesse. I'm the executive director of Top Hand Foundation, located in Emporia, Virginia, where we offer a lot of youth programming, from baseball and softball, fitness programming, and a community outreach center. Another big component of our after-school program is that a lot of these kids are coming in to be able to utilize the computers for internet service that they couldn't do at their own house. A lot of our students regressed, obviously, just because of COVID and not being in, but a lot of it was because they didn't have good quality internet. It was frequent for somebody to say, is your tablet on the internet? Like, is your, or on the Wi-Fi? Is your phone on the Wi-Fi? Like, turn everything off so that we can use the one computer to get on Zoom classes and that kind of stuff. You know, the school gave all the kids, you know, the notebook, mm -hmm. you know, they did no good for the kids. All I will, cause they can't get no internet. Not only me, but a lot of the parents, my next door neighbor, they had to come to town, like to the library. Mm. Some people said they make yep. all of them use their internet. Yes. That's right. Everything pushed online, like online banking, right? And this is a problem out here when I try to go to online banking, I cannot get in. And just like your doctor said, you don't know how to go on there to get it. They don't want to tell you, they tell you it's online. But yeah. if you can't get it, it keeps shutting down. What well, am I supposed to die? because I can't get it. Come on, that's right. So at the end of the day, now we in a turmoil yes. because we paying for something that's not rectifying our problem. So we just losing money. We pay for the highest amount that we can get and it's still not quality internet. I think if in poor you had internet I think in the future, it'll be a better place to live. I think it'll be more businesses. It'll be more educational development from the people in the community. Yes. And I think yes. the kid will be more responsive yes. to a meaningful living of contributing to the community. Because yes. what is happening here by not having resources, a lot of people are leaving. Mm. And that's the main problem with yes. little small cities and towns like this. Yes. If you don't have access to the internet, resources or anything of that nature, people not gonna stay here. It would allow us to catch up to the rest of the world. We love to have service that's reliable because we use the internet every moment that we open the door. Why not us? We're ready. I cannot even begin to tell you how fast people would line up and, and welcome equal and affordable service. Internet is just a part of life now. I want to be somewhere where I got the opportunity to have success in my surroundings.